Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS add-on programming. In this video, we will see the creation of treatment emergent flag in adverse events. So in this example, we will be considering the baseline severity of an event and also a cutoff after treatment end date. Generally, we will check for if the event is starting on or after treatment start date, but we also may need to apply cutoff after treatment end date in some cases. So we will see an example of that in this example. So let's go to the specification. We have been given the derivation for ASTDT, AENDT and TRT EMFL. So for ASTDT it says convert AESTDTC to numeric format and for AENDT so it says convert AEENDTC to numeric format. And for TRT EMFL, it says the derivation is split into two sections. The first one is A and the second one is identified as B. So the first section is for the D codes, which do not exist prior to treatment start. Each D code actually corresponds to a particular event. So if the, there, are, there will be some events which do not exist prior to treatment start it and appear only after taking the treatment start. And there can be some events which might exist prior to treatment start date, but recur after treatment start date. So the specification is splitting the derivation for those two kind of events. So for the events which do not exist prior to treatment start date, we are being asked to populate as Y on the records where the analysis start date, which is adverse event analysis start date is not null and greater than or equal to treatment start date. And at the same time, the start date is less than or is equal to TRT EDT plus 15 days. So this please 15 days concept actually depends on how many number of days the drugs effect could be seen in the body, depending on the half life of the drug. There can be some conditions where you may have to check for plus 30, plus 15 and plus three days or plus five days. That will depend on the compound that you are being studying. Okay, so in this example, we are taking 15 days of, tr of treatment end date. If an event starts after 15 days of treatment end date, so we should not call it as treatment emergent. So, and for the decodes which exist prior to treatment start and recur after treatment start. So they should have been present before and should have occurred after treatment start date. So for those records populate as Y, on the records where ASTDT is greater than or is equal to treatment start date. At the same time, the date is less than TRT EDT plus 15 and the severity is greater than the maximum severity observed for that decode and use of JD prior to the treatment start. So the, there is a common condition. The event should technically have started on or after treatment start date, but before TRT EDT plus 15 in both the cases, but for the even decodes which are present uh, before treatment start date, if it is recurring, the maximum severity observed, uh, the severity on that record should be greater than the maximum severity observed during pre-treatment phase. So let us see how we can implement this programmatically. So here on the left hand side, I have my SAS program and then on the right hand side, I have my intermediate data sets that are getting generated from the code. So the code required to generate the input data set is present in a program uh, called underscore data dot SAS. I am including that program here so that all the required data set gets generated in this session's work library when I'm executing this code. So here I'm creating a data set called AE01 uh, by reading AE as a temporary copy. And then I'm using AE01 as input and then creating AE02. So here, in this step, I am creating my ASTDT and AENDT. So we were asked to convert AESTDTC to numeric and store it in ASTDT and then AENDTC to numeric and store it in AENDT. So, but we'll be able to convert only, uh, create numeric counterparts for uh, SDTM start and end dates when the date is full. So we can check if a date is full or not by using length function on the respective variable. So when the date is full, so we will have the total number of characters present in AESTDTC would be 10. So again, this is going with the assumption that in your study, you do not have the time collected for your 
adverse event start or end so we are checking if the date is full and then converting it into numeric format and storing the resulting value in ASTDT similarly for AENDT. So we have start date and end date of events created and stored in AE02. So let us take a look at AE02 data set and see if these are created. ASTDT and AENDT are present here. So there is one record with AE and DT is equal to null. So let's examine why that is null. So here if we see AE and DTC is partial, it said October 2009. So we do not have full date. So we cannot create a numeric version for partial dates. So that's why we have AE and DT is equal to null. And then so there was this condition to check for the maximum severity for the events which existed prior to treatment start date. So the, we can identify the events that occurred prior to treatment start date by filtering those records first. So if adverse event start date is less than TRT STT. So we are check, filtering all the records where start date of the adverse event is prior to treatment start and then sorting those records based on use of JD, AED code and AEC severity. So let us take a look at base 01 and then see how many events were present prior to treatment start. So here if we see out of all nine records, so four records seems to be prior to treatment start. So of these, there are two records for headache. Again, all of these records for same subject 1001. There are two records for headache, one record for neuropathy and one record for peptic ulcer. So here we have ensured that the records are sorted based on ascending AE7. The possible values in AE7 are mild, moderate and severe. So with the same uh, order of actual severity. So severity is considered as worse when compared to moderate. Moderate is compared worse uh, is considered as worse when compared to mild. So if there exists same event multiple times, so we need to consider the highest severity seen during pretreatment period. So for these two records, the highest severity is moderate. So here when we sorted by ascending AE7, the values moder mild, moderate and severe MI comes before MO. So MI mild gets sorted first and then moderate and then the let alphabet S comes after M. So the highest severity record would come here, come at the end. So even if they are in alphabetical order. So here I have ensured that the last record will have the highest severity record. So in the next step, I would be filtering off the last record with for each event. So of these two records, the last record for headache is this one. So I will be filtering this and then there are only one record. There is only one record for neuropathy and one record for peptic ulcer. So if there is only one record, that record would automatically be considered as the first and last. So we will need these three records. So we will be able to filter of those records by using the last out concept. So we have ensured we are creating a data set called base 02 by using base 01 and we are indicating that the records are sorted based on use of JD, AED code and AEC severity. And then we are filtering the last record within each AED code of each subject. So we have sorted the variables such a way that within a subject the decodes are sorted when we say last dot decode so it filters the last record for each AE decode value within each subject so headache this record of headache would be filtered and these two records would be filtered as they are the only record so here i on this subsetted record so i am assigning the value of ae save to a variable called base save and then keeping only the record variables which are required so you sub jd ae decode and base save so let us take a look at base 02 now so here we have subject 1001 headache record neuropathy record and peptic ulcer record so what does this data set actually have now so this data set has the highest severity for the events or decodes present prior to the treatment start. So now we will have to populate this severity across all records of that subject and decode so that we will be able to compare the AE severity on a particular record with the highest baseline severity. So in the next step we will be merging our baseline severity to our parent AE dataset which is AE02 at subject and decode level. So proc sort 
AE02 based on subject and AED code and then we are merging base02 to this AE02 data set at U sub JD and AED code level and then creating this AE03. Let us now take a look at AE03 and see if base save is populated correctly across each subject and AED code level. So we have seen that there were four instances of headache uh, and the highest severity was moderate. So on all the instances of headache for subject 1001, the baseline severity, highest baseline severity seen is populated. And then uh, we had neuropathy and on that record, and this record seems to be only prior to treatment on that record it is populated. And then for peptic ulcer also, there is only one record and that record itself is a pre-treatment record. On that record, we have the baseline severity populated. Now comes our derivation of our uh, TRT EMFL. So we are checking if treatment start date not is equal to null in first place because treatment emergent is applicable only for the subjects who took a treatment. So for all those subjects who took treatment, treatment start date would not be null. So we are checking if TRT start date is not null in first place. If that is the case, so for all the subjects, events of the subjects who have taken a treatment, these conditions would be executed. So within that we are checking. So if ASTDT greater than or is equal to treatment start date and then both of them are not null. So when I say greater than missing, so which is ASTDT is greater than null and TRTSDT greater than null, which means both ASTDT has a value and TRTSDT has a value and ASTDT has a value greater than or is equal to TRTSDT. So I'm checking if the event started on or after treatment start date, right? but we also had to check whether the event actually started within 15 days after treatment end date. So I'm checking here if ASTDT is less than or is equal to TRT EDT plus 15. So on all the records which meet this condition. So we have checked in the specification earlier that so this condition is common for pre-existing events and also for uh, new events. So if an event is happening within this interval, so we are checking if baseline severity is missing. So for all the records or events which uh, do not have the same event present prior to the treatment start will have base save is equal to null. So all the for all those records we can directly populate TRT EMFL is equal to Y. So absence of base save value indicates that the record is altogether new after treatment start date. So it is automatically getting classified as TRT EMFL is equal to Y as we have already upfrontly checked whether the event is falling within the specified time frame of between treatment start date to 15 days of treatment end date. And then if the else condition for base save now is equal to missing would be base save not is equal to missing. Else if A save is greater than base save. So if base save is not null, which means that the event was present prior to the treatment as well. So if that is the case on that record, A save must be greater than the baseline severity. Only then we are populating it as Y. And then we are closing these two loops and then at the end, if TRT AMFL is not identified as Y, we are flagging it as N. So we have completed the derivation for our treatment emergent. Now let us take a look at our AE04 and then visually examine why a particular record is getting as N or Y. So here for peptic ulcer, if we see this event started prior to treatment start date. The treatment start date is 6th Jan 2010, but this event was somewhere in 2009. So this should not, is not applicable for treatment emergence. So this is N. So we are getting it correctly here. And then we have the next record, which is neuropathy. So this started in again in 2009. So this is not applicable and this should get a value of N. So that is correct. And then we have headache on 3rd Jan when compared to 6th Jan treatment start date. This is prior to treatment start date. Again, as expected, this must be N. And then this is 5th Jan headache but again this is prior to treatment start date of 6th Jan so this should have a value of N so this is coming correctly and then we have 7th Jan record so it which is after treatment start date but here if we see the severity is mild but the highest severity seen during baseline period for headache was moderate for this subject 
So this is not greater than our baseline severity. So we are not calling it treatment emergent. So though it started after treatment start, but when compared to the severity with the highest baseline severity, so this is not greater. So we are not calling it treatment emergent. And then we have this headache on 10th Jan again, but this time the severity is severe. So, and the highest severity seen during baseline period was moderate as severe is considered worse than moderate. So this is greater. So we have to flag it as Y. So this is coming correctly here. And then we have nausea and this is occurring on 1st Feb 2010, which is after treatment started and before treatment ended. The treatment ended somewhere in March, 9th March 2010. Then this is in Feb. So this is in between. So this should also have Y. And then we have next record of 3rd March 2010, which is after treatment start date, 6th Jan and prior to treatment end date, 9th March 2013, 2010. So this will also become TRT EMFL. And then we have last record, which says 1st April and then the treatment start date is 6th Jan and the treatment end is 9th March. So even if we add 15 to this uh, TRT EDT because we were supposed to check if the event started till 15 days of treatment start end date. So 15 plus 9 comes to around 24th of March. But this start date of 1st April is beyond that uh, 14th. 15 plus 9 is 24th March. So beyond 24th March. So beyond the cutoff. So this will not qualify for treatment emergence as this is strictly beyond 15 days after treatment end date. So this should get a value of N. So we have it as N. So this is how you can derive your treatment emergent flag when you have to check for baseline severity and also check for if the cutoff after treatment end date as well. Thank you for watching and keep learning.